Hi, this is Thomas, architect with Stairlight Global. I'm going to show you how to do a basic Dialux presentation. This is how to do a basic Dialux. Start by opening up your program. Left click it. We will do a new interior project. And on the screen, you get to choose now the length, width, and height of your room. Let's do a 100 foot by 200 foot room that is 25 feet tall. Click OK. Now on your main screen, Dialux has created a room with those dimensions for you. Zoom in a little bit. There you go. To see this room in three dimensions, we click this little blue square up here, the 3D standard view. And let's rotate this with the rotate tool so that it is at an angle that we like because when we export, we want to be able to see all of the contents of this room. Okay, so here's our floor plan. Uh, let's, while we have our menu open, let's name our project. We'll say tutorial. Let's also put in the details of our location. We'll say Los Angeles. If you'd like to enter your address, your contact information, your company information, you can do all that here in your general tab in your project. Uh, so now we insert our luminaires, in this case, Stearlite Smart Skylights. We go file import luminaire files. We have ours saved on the desktop. It's an IES file. Ours is called t22966.ies. We will open it. The length of our file is four feet. The width is four feet. The height is about three feet. And the light emitting surface for us is the lower lens, which is also four feet by four feet. And that height of that lens is uh, less than an inch, so we will just put 0.1, click OK, and now our Stearlite Smart Skylight pops up as an option. Now that we have our skylight loaded, our luminaire, let's insert them into our room. There are a couple ways to do it. One way is to just drag this into the space, and we can manually put them wherever we like. Um, we can then, or we can just delete them, which I'm going to do now. Go to your select tool if you're ever having a problem selecting. Uh, if you right click, you can insert the luminaires in a variety of ways, in a field arrangement, individual, in a line. For this, we will do a field arrangement. We go to our mounting in the project folder, and let's say we want, we'll do uh, seven, we'll do eight rows of four and see how that does. We'll insert and it gives you an even spacing between all of them, even around the edges. Let's look at that in 3D. That looks reasonable. Now let's choose the options for our export. In our menu we go to output down here with the O, the printer we choose the options that we want to show up. So let's make a project cover, a table of contents, a luminaire parts list. We have a data sheet included with our luminaire. And in our room, let's do a summary. We don't need parts list because it's already been checked. Let's do a layout plan, a photometric results, and let's do a false color rendering as well. We will do to output, we go Choose Output from the File menu, Start Calculation. Click All to make sure that all luminaires are included in the calculation, and click OK. Here you see a, a grayscale image. Uh, in order to get our PDF, we go File, Export, Save Output as PDF. Sure, we'd like all the pages. Left click OK. Save your file as a PDF. We 
wait as it generates for you. And let's find our file. And here's our PDF. Here's our project cover. You can name your project whatever you like and enter your contact information. Uh, here is the table of contents. Here is your Luminaire parts list and the Luminaire data sheet. Here is a, uh, the, the layout that has the ISO lines of your foot candle differentiation and it also has your foot candles as they hit the work plane, the floor, and the ceiling. So here you see an average of 74 foot candles reach the work plane, which is an imaginary plane three feet above the floor where most visual tasks take place. Uh, we see the, the summary with 32 units in this case. Uh, here's a layout with all the spacing between them. Here are our uh, more detailed photometric results. And here is our false color rendering that gives a good visual representation of the light that you can expect. So here where you have the brightest, it'll be 120 foot candles. And then the red is represented by 90. And then this green area between the units is 60 foot candles, so still quite bright. And that is how to generate a basic PDF export from Dialux. With that information, you should be able to perform a basic lighting analysis using Dialux. Uh, thanks for your time. I'm Thomas DeVos with Searlight Global.